working with header and footer, creating a different first page header and footer. If you want the header footer of your document to be different on your first page, you first need to create a header or footer. You can customize headers and footers in the header and footer tools design tab. On the first page of the document, double click within the header or footer. The header and footer tool design tabs appear. From the header and footer tool design command tab in the options group, select different first page. The label on the first page header text box changes from header to first page header. In the first page header text box, insert the desired information. To edit the first page footer, click go to footer. In the first page footer text box, insert the desired information. To create subsequent headers and footers in the navigation section, click next. In the footer text box, insert the desired information. Click go to header. In the header text box, insert the desired information. To return to your document, click close header and footer. Creating odd and even page headers and footers. You can create odd and even page header and footers, which display different information on the odd and even pages of your document. On the first page of the document, double click within the header or footer. The header and footer tools design tab appears. From the header and footers tool design tab in the options section, select different odd and even pages. In the odd page header text box, insert the desired information. Click Go to Footer. In the odd page footer text box, insert the desired information. To create the header and footer for even pages in the navigation section, click Next. In the even page footer text box, insert the desired information. Click Go to Header. In the even page header text box, insert the desired information. To return to your document, click Close Header and Footer. Inserting Pictures To get some practice with Word's picture tools, in these steps you'll insert a picture into your document and then adjust its formatting and positioning. Click to place the insertion point where you want to insert the picture. Go to Insert tab, move your pointer to the Illustrations and click on Picture. This opens the Insert Picture dialog box. The Insert Picture dialog box starts out showing you the contents of your My Pictures folder. When you find the picture you want to use, double click it to the place in your document. The Insert Picture box closes and you see your photo in your document. To resize the picture, shift click and then drag one of the corners. When you close the Insert Picture box, your newly placed picture is selected as you can see from the frame and sizing handles around the image. You can resize your picture by dragging any of the sizing handles on the corners or edges of the picture. Use a handle that's sticking out of the top to rotate your image. Adding a chart. Charts and graphs are different from other graphics because they're backed up by data. Word reads the numbers from a data chart or an Excel spreadsheet and uses those figures to show bars, plot lines, or to divvy up pieces of the pie. To get a feel for how it works, you'll create a bar graph that shows the number of executions in France and London over a four-year period. Go to Insert, move on to Illustrations. In that, click on Chart. This displays the chart box. In the panel, on the left, click Column for Chart Type and then click the example with two rows of cylinders. Click OK to insert the chart into your document. Immediately after you insert the chart in your document, Word opens an Excel spreadsheet. You see a table with example text and numbers already entered. To create your chart, you replace the example text with your labels and your numbers. In the top row, leave the first column as it is. Type France in the second column and then type London in the third column. Close the data sheet. To close the data sheet, just click your Word document. If you're using Excel to enter with the data sheet out of the way, you can see your chart. 
It looks pretty good, but can still use some formatting and tweaking by changing the chart styles and display layouts.